Hi everybody, my name is Laura and I'm a library assistant here at the Hamilton East Public Library. And today we are making a craft with items you probably have at home. And the craft we're making today is a salt dough seashell mosaic. You need one cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and a quarter cup of water. Okay, get your salt and flour together and we're gonna stir it all up like so. Just stir in a little bit of water at a time, a little bit of water. And just stir. Okay, see how it's turned into a ball? That's all over my hands, so it's getting there. So, now I think it took a little bit more than a quarter cup of water, but just add a little bit at a time. I'm talking just a little, 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 little bit. See, there we go. I do have some left over, but that's okay. So let's see. <laughs> You hear the salt? <laughs> Put this in here. Okay. So let's just kind of knead this a little bit. Oops. Well, I'll just do this. <laughs> Stop for a minute. <laughs> okay. There we go. Squish it. Good way to work on your arms. Good arm work out here. Oh. It should kind of look like that. Kind of smooth a little bit. All right, I think we got it. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this because I know I'll dump it. Now, we need, you need to roll this out a little bit. We here at the library do not have a rolling pin. So I'm gonna use can. You can use a bottle or anything of this size as long as you can roll it out. Anything will work. You don't have to be fancy. We are not fancy here. So we're just going to push it down. Roll it out a little bit. Right, it's a little bit dry a little bit. That's okay. Let's see how thin we can roll this. You kind of want to get it a little bit thin-ish because it'll dry quicker. Let's, pat let's do some patting too. Actually, this can works perfectly. It's just an empty can. <laughs> Oops, I didn't do that. Okay. 
Okay, think that's thin enough? I think it's thin enough. Okay. And I forgot to make a, a round. We're gonna make a round circle. If you don't have any cookie, you can use cookie cutters. That's just fine. But we're just gonna make a circle. And so I found a bowl that's kind of the right size for it. And we're gonna stick it in the dough. I'm gonna cut it like a cookie cutter. You guys know what how cookie cutters work? Ta-da! Right now we have to make a little hole here. And I'm just improvising and I'm using a cap off a of marker. So let's see what we can do here. We're gonna put it down in there and make a big hole. Ta-da! I got some seashells here, some pretty ones. Now all we're gonna do is press it in. You can put them anywhere you want. All shapes and sizes. Couple of these. Let's put a couple here. That's kind of cool, isn't it? There you have it. And by the power of magic, I have one that's already done. So what I did for this is I set it in a sunny window for a couple days. Make sure, if you don't have a sunny window, make sure it's somewhere warm. I know most things say to bake salt dough, but with the seashells, I don't know if that's a very good idea. So I would just let it air dry in a, in a nice warm place. And then when it's all dry, Maybe a grown-up could put a little bit of clear varnish on it or something to protect it. So, there you have it. And on a quick note, if you don't have seashells, you could always put like dinosaurs or marbles or any kind of little things you have. You could just press them in there and just let it dry. And then you have a mosaic. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Have fun. See you next time.